On this edition of NSFW, we are joined by Scott Johnson. He of the new number one podcast, The Creep, and the Frog Pants Podcast Network. We send a little sunshine to a local Pennsylvania man, go over some NPR Mad Lips, and rock around the world with local radio shows in various different countries. It's all coming up on NSFW right now. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 41 for September 14th, 2010. Scott Johnson versus the world. This episode of NSFW brought to you by Carbonite. Head on over to Carbonite.com and use promo code NSFW and back those assets up to the cloud. The cat. Elvin Screechy. Will the gentlemen rise to sing a plaintive melody? The leaf is ringing in the wind until November. I am here. I am not going away. Hey, if I was you, why they want me to go away too? You know, what the hell? Do what you have to do. But don't leave me swinging in the wind until November. Until November. Don't leave me swinging in the wind. The wind. Democrats, hey, and Republicans, hey, as much as I love you, I am not going away. I violated the rules. And I'm apologizing, for God's sake, I'm 80 years old. And all I'm saying is, have, have the Ethics Committee expedite this. This is an emergency. Democrats, hey, and Republicans, hey, as much as I love you, I am not going away. He's still a contender. He will not surrender. Don't you leave him swinging in the wind until November. All right, and with that, I say it's go time. That's that's enough. By the way, you know we're huge fans of the Gregory Brothers. we got to have them on the show sometime. But until then, it is time for NSFW, the new show full of wind. The new sauce for the Weberness. I, have your, I said the Weberness, which is not yes. the same as the Weberness. That was actually the Baroness's sister from G.I. Joe. You know the what? The Baroness's sister, the Weberness, is my best buddy. And, of course, I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, joined, as always, by my inimitable co-host, none other than Professor Justin Robert Youngification, the first How Are You? Mr. J.R.Y. Uh, Brian, we're coming straight off Dragon Con, Con of the Dragon, a day that will live in infamy. Uh, Brian, you are here in my home state of uh, Florida. I could not be happier. Oh, my God. By the way, we should take just a moment to recap. If you did not see Dragon Con, Con of a Dragon, easily one of the highlights of my little old life. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. We had a packed room, standing ovation for Alien Xenomorph versus um, Horse Boy. Horse Boy making the, out with the, each the other. Love, the love <laughs> for which we had no descriptor. Oh my god! Finally, the Xenomorph sucked face with the Horse Boy. By the way, that's the one moment when I'm 80 and I think back to the whole great experiment of NSFW, I will remember one moment, and it will be the xenomorph alien making out with the horse boy. The internet and James Cameron's progeny. Oh, yeah. Well, and really, my favorite part was uh, was when they were just kind of, just sort of having a soft moment of foreplay with each other <laughs> right before they went in they went in for the kill and i kind of made a joke not knowing where it was going like oh this is kind of erotic and veronica belmont of course our lovely guest turns to me and looks horrified in a picture that bonnie by the way bonnie yeah bonnie caught that picture we'll have to i'll have to tweet it out tomorrow yeah. but it was unreal so, like but, it's but then you're disgust yeah just disgust which is then immediately transferred sevenfold to the actual event as it happens. Then they actually start making out and she looks even more disgusted <laughs> at the actual two Xenomorph Horse Boy makeout session. Hey, listen, it was insane. For everybody who came to Dragon Con, thank you very, very much. If you didn't hear, uh, I don't know if we've officially said it, but we were um, three times capacity. So that means that they could have filled three more rooms at our size, which is about 110 people. So we had over 400 people show up. 
for our show. We are getting the big room next year, according to what people said. If they don't, then we can call them liars. Uh, so <laughs> thank you, everybody who came out. Yes, absolutely. And by the way, remind me never to try to sneak a drink <laughs> while you're in the middle of talking because you will stop completely randomly and I will be forced to cover by explaining exactly what just happened. Why don't you tell us a little bit about our new all-time favorite guest who's finally joined us right here on NSFW. Listen, uh, our guest knew he was going to be here because I'm sure it was predicted in an episode of Forecast about eight weeks ago. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, he has multiple podcast at the top of the iTunes chart, including his newest, The Creep, about StarCraft II, the legendary Scott Johnson of the Frog Pants Network. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. There it is. Ladies and what? gentlemen, Scott oh. Johnson. Hey, Sorry, by the way. I, was, uh, I, I forgot you guys were talking. What is this show called again? <laughs> oh, actually, I take it all back. I'm thrilled to be here, you guys. I'm pumped to be here. You invited me one other time. I canceled like a big fat jerk. That's and, go uh, go on. Go, yeah, keep I, talking about I, I what did. you've done I was, wrong. I was go a on. Jerk that day. That's good. Here I am, finally in your presence. Hey, excited to do NSFW. Real, real quick, can, can you can you throw back up that that PC Gamer cover that you were looking yeah, at? Here you go. The sweetest baby. cover in the history of PC Gamer. Uh, who, <laughs> I, I don't know who the other guy is, but he's freaking given given George is that Washington is that Teddy what Roosevelt? for. No, no, that, that's 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 one of the, that's one of the Kaisers of some sort smacking George Washington right in the kisser because that dude had it coming ever since he up and left the Queen's Empire or the King's Empire. So, do you have contacts over there, or are you just a fan I, yourself? Uh, uh, I do. I, this is my own subscription, but I do have some friends over there. I've done a couple of ads uh, that ran in the magazine. I did these for a couple of clients and stuff, uh, and so I've had some goings on between us, but. I'm the way I'm the way you are with them that I was with Dick DiBartolo the other night when I was on forecast with him. No kidding. Yeah, dude, and I'm such a mad nerd. I got a box right over there just filled with like mad magazines from the 60s, 70s and 80s, mostly 80s because that's when I was a kid. By the way, we and were afraid because we recently had one of those experiences. We had we had Kyle Gas and Trainwreck. Uh Kyle Gas of course famous from Tenacious D and both Justin and I such huge D fans. Oh god. That we yeah. we were afraid that while it was an amazing experience for us, we were terrified that we had a lousy show because we were just so starstruck by him. Like like is that is that what you experienced as well? Oh yeah, big time. Like uh, it, it, it's like finding out that this this uh, almost fictional name that you just see every month when you buy this thing and you're so freaking into it. I mean, Mad Magazine is probably Mad Magazine and Mort Drucker, one of the artists for Mad, are probably responsible for my jump into illustration and comics and there was no no way I would have ever like really stretched and you know learned my own style and and learned from their styles and gone for a more humorous approach and stuff had it not been for Mad Magazine so to meet one of the writers from Mad Magazine in that way and have him talking directly to me was just surreal like I I realize everyone's just people at the end of the day but we're talking about an impression that was made on me when I was like 10 or 11 yeah. so to meet the guy in person and he's still around and you know, he's telling me not to sell my collection because it'll flood the market and destroy the value of his. Those kind of <laughs> jokes coming back at me. That's awesome, man. Like, I was I was beside myself. It was awesome. That's awesome. Well, let me just put it out to the Twitter sphere that uh, Brian Brushwood, tremendous PC Gamer magazine freak, would love to get those guys on. We could do a PC Gamer whole themed episode. We could come up with some game that would be amazing with them. Uh, a little, I'm too ashamed of myself to even bother to ask them in person, though. That's the only problem. So just just put it out there. Well, Brian, what are they going to say? I don't, what? I don't, I don't even know. It's, it's, it's like Who it's the hell are you? And what <laughs> gives you the nerve to come talk to us at PC Gamer? Get out of here, you <laughs> worthless tech. Oh, uh, granted, at the beginning of this paranoid scenario, I didn't know who you are. And yet now I've made a value judgment. That's how good we are at PC Gamer. <laughs> all right, all I'm saying is that I'm not going to lie. A decade and a half ago. All right, so what, what I want everybody to do is uh, RT, uh, as if Schwood tweeted out, I'm a huge fan of PC Gamer, and I want them on the podcast. Don't oh let him do your dirty work for you. <laughs> Retweet it like he tweeted it, and make sure that they know that Brian himself is going out there and asking you guys, to be on the show. You guys, you guys are full on. I am bringing things together, building bridges, solving <laughs> problems, Brian. 
All right, whatever. dude, just drop Veronica's name. We, I do it all the time. Just you know use what? her for what Actually, she's good while you're for. Actually, why don't make up stuff Veronica <laughs> said? Like Veronica says, Brian should really hook up with the PC Gamer crew because he's such a fan of their magazine. So why don't we do yeah. that? All right, Justin, get us started here. What are we going right, to do tonight? Well, What's like, our shenanigans? Like I said, listen, I already solved your problem, and and I had another idea to solve a problem that has run rampant upon these internets. Here's the deal, folks. We all go to blogs and we, we see just the hatred that's left for random people. So we here at NSFW, you want to know, we get kind of a bad rap, being maybe mean, maybe we laugh at people a little too much. Uh-uh, not this week, my friends. We're going to do a little community service. We're going to give back. And you, the fine denizens of chat realm, are going to be the lightning from which we will toss down from Mount Olympus and brighten someone's day. So in other Here's words, you're talking about like sneak attack positivity. You're talking about making someone's day when they least expect it. That's what I'm exactly. hearing. Exactly. I'm talking about like, let's say they were climbing in your windows, snatching your people up, trying to cheer them up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're just listen. We're gonna be like, let's say it's late at night. You hear someone trying to try to open up your lock, right, or scratch it at your window, <laughs> you know? And then you like it busts open, and you're like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? And it's just a rainbow. <laughs> you know what I love about this? And unfortunately, I, I'd hate to think there would be a negative side effect, but I, I'd like to think that next time you hear a scratch at your window. You think that it's something cheerful coming to help brighten your day. That's <laughs> exactly the, ne the next time that you would normally put your rape whistle to your mouth, <laughs> you just instead think, "Oh my God, I wonder what compliments coming." <laughs> okay, so how are we gonna do this? Did you have? A, I guess I guess this is very similar to the bit we did before. Melissa's will be done, where we're gonna pick some bit that we think deserves to be exploded and make somebody's day. Which, by the way, it turns out went fabulously well with Melissa's experiment. The folks, the moderators at Boing Boing was was just like, that was weird. 375 different IP addresses just dropped um, complimentary, <laughs> uh, v strikingly similar uh, compliments on this website, and none of them were a Viagra or a porn site. And then somebody was just like, what? What are you talking about? He's like, well, here, let me unleash them. And then the next con comments just go straight on down, right? Absolutely. So here's the deal. For those of you who didn't see that episode, I have now put in the chat room bit.ly slash compliment bomb. And here's the deal. It is a, uh, a blogger in the Lehigh Valley, which is about an hour outside of Philadelphia. And he just wrote a nice blog piece about uh, seeing the Doobie Brothers in concert. One of his favorite bands. He really enjoyed the show. So what we want to do Oh wait, hold on. You yeah, said a yeah, broken you, link. <laughs> you totally, you totally tweeted out the wrong. I was gonna, I was, I was trying like four, five, six, seven, eight times. I was like, surely Justin didn't just post the totally wrong. Oh dear, he did. And then I realized that we're screwed. So Scott, tell me a bit <laughs> about the PC Gamer crew. What? Well, all right. What are they like? Are they? Do, we can do, go back to the. Do they have? Do they have bo like the rest of us? Is Always, that, in fact, more so, dude. PC gamers, they they almost can lay claim to bo if you really want to want to get to the nitty gritty. <laughs> just, just by the way, if you ever wanted to know what Justin looks like when he's trying not to sweat, when he's already posted the correct link, Brian. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It's already in there. Well, let's take a look here, right here in the chat room. Oh here we look. Go. Hey, there we go. It's you know I don't see what the big deal is. It's showing up on my web site right now. There it is. The Doobie Brothers have aged gracefully and rocked the house at Music Fest. In case you were wondering, Scott, I don't know about wow. you, but me personally, for years I've been wondering what are the Doobie Brothers up to? And <laughs> can they all still right. rock? No, all right. No, see, Brian, this is the same kind of snark that goes along the internet all the time, and we're not about that tonight, bro. <laughs> no, that's not right. what we're doing on an SFW show. No, 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 no. We're going to find, and that's why Scott's here, we're going to let Scott come up with a random compliment about the fact that a local blogger really likes the Doobie Brothers and went to go see him in concert and gave him a nice review. And then we're all going to tweet the exact same compliment. Wait, 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 on wait, 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 wait hold on. Exact same as amateur hour. You and I know that. That's what no, distinguishes uh, our no. audiences from everyone else. I'm sorry. You want to clarify that? 
<laughs> well, I, I mean the exact same for our perspective. Of course, the we exact same for the chat sentiment. Realm. The exact same exactly. sentiment is what we, we're we, going to do. We, is we what you're push saying. it through the food processor that is chat realm, and they dice it and slice it their own different way, and it all goes up there, and it looks like a a, a random hurricane of compliments just came bad barreling into his life. And they all weirdly seem to focus on one particular aspect <laughs> of this article, right? <laughs> yes. Weird. So, Scott, let's say local Lehigh Valley blogger really loves the Doobie Brothers. By the way, was not a big fan of the Michael McDonald era. So that, no. might, be, that might be an element we want to build wait, on. Wait, wait, Is that what it says in the article here? Yes. He was not a fan. If you, if you scroll down a little bit toward the end, he talks about how much he was not a big fan of the Michael McDonald. Oh, he even bolded it. He said the regrettable Michael McDonald era. <laughs> what a fool believes I'll be happy. Okay, all right. So basically, what angle do you want us to take with this? And first of all, before this is like, this is important. This is a Dr. Strangelove moment. Like I, I need to make clear to you what button your finger is pressed upon. These are oh. the demon hordes of the internet and their <laughs> will will become your will. And it shall be done upon this blogger in the Lehigh Valley of Pennsylvania. So before and, you think about what you're going to do, you just think about the consequences. And, and also, re re real quick, Sky, let me just point also this out. Uh, I I'm relatively familiar, having worked in, in newspapers, the kind of traffic that these kind of sites are used to seeing. Uh, the amount of comments we're about to dump on this one post <laughs> will cause meetings for the next three weeks. They're going to be wondering how it happened, why it happened. They're going to see if they can maximize. You're going to see a four-week a, a four week spread There's on Doobie Brothers. There's a good chance for the next four months there'll be nothing but Doobie Brothers articles based on what's about to happen right now. What's so about just keep to that happen. in mind. So, Scott, what should America's take be on the Doobie Brothers concert, concert in Lehigh, Pennsylvania? <laughs> oh, uh, America's take... See, unfortunately, Scott's take is the Doobie Brothers suck. Um, I've never been a fan. I'm not a fan of the Michael McDonald era either, but kind of for the same reason I wasn't a fan of the Doobie Brothers era much. Uh, okay, now realize, this is a positivity bomb. This is a compliment bomb. So, <laughs> I know, yes. I know. So we, we, we got to find something complimentary. Right, the message right. needs to be that you were never a fan of the Doobie Brothers or the what's his name michael mcdonald era until dot 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 what happened scott all right hold on oh no no it doesn't even have to be about the doobie but it just could be about the fact that this guy you know it is a really great reviewer that what his let's say his prose times. was evocative yeah all right let's say this i was a i was a fan until they broke up and went their separate ways and when they came back together it felt like a sellout even the hair doesn't do it for me until I read this guy's review, <laughs> which has driven me to go to iTunes and buy every track they have. Uh, okay, all right. No, no, wait, hold on. No, we need we need to have it have it that you bought one track, which will make okay. it seem really, really <laughs> weird. Like I hated the Doobie Brothers until I read this and I just went out and bought blank. So we need a non Micah McDonald Doobie Brothers song. One what, particular what's... one. Yeah, I'm we need you, one. Uh, let's do. Uh, okay, so, so what uh, we're saying, what we're saying is, Ch the China article Groove. reminded no, me. The article reminded me of what was always great about the Doobie Brothers. So I bought Blank and pick your own favorite Doobie Brothers song. Blackwater. There, I think Blackwater is is, is the consensus. So how about that? There we go. Uh, I, I really uh, despise the Doobie Brothers until I read this, and it's uh, led me to go buy on iTunes Blackwater. Thank you, author of the Express Times blog, <laughs> Joseph P. Owens. Mention Joseph. Like, Joe dash dash, I got to tell you, I was never big on the Doobie Brothers <laughs> until I read this article. <laughs> and then it made me realize that post-Michael McDonald, they've got a lot going on. So as a result, I just went out and bought track name. Right? There we go. That's what exactly. We're Throw a bunch of different drug names in. Uh, by the way, if you are listening to this after the live show, the Bitly link is uh, for real this time. Bitly slash compliment NSFW. That is Bitly slash 
compliment NSFW. I'm sure in the chat room they're going to post it 100 times over so I can snap the camera over and we can see it. And, of course, we'll check back on this at the end of the show and see how we did. Uh, Scott, are you comfortable with what we've just done? To uh... I like it. Yeah, this is crowdsourcing at its best. I think this will be great. I cannot see? wait to see it's positivity, man. We're just trying to make people feel better about America and their lives. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like, hey. imagine a guy with a with a stocking over his head and he pulls it over. <laughs> and, he, and, and he just sort of skulks through the alleys. And then he finds an unsuspecting victim and then just runs up and kisses him on the cheek and then scampers <laughs> away. And just so says, what is this guy, what's this guy going to do? So when he sees this, here's what he'll do. He'll go, oh, my gosh. And he'll read the first comment. He'll be super excited. And he'll read the second comment. And by like the fourth comment, he'll go, wait a minute. These are all the same. It's different tracks. But <laughs> Not it's the same. Our no, crowd. no, 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 Not no, no. crowd. That's one thing they're geniuses of is they all have their own take. And, the, and a lot of them will sneakily put in like somebody out there. I guarantee you somebody's going to say, I haven't heard any music like this but Cuba. And then, and then that'll be like little, little sneaky NSFW references is what's going to happen. That's what yes. I say. I don't yes. know. All, all, all right. we know, uh, and people are saying it's a four or four. No, it's, it's bit.ly slash compliment NSFW. It works for me. It should work for you as long as you spell compliment right. Uh, so there we go. Enjoy it. Is it bt.ly or bit? Oh, oh apparently uh, it's case sensitive. So it's got to be, uh, yeah, up C and then NSFW is all on. There is a ton already. Oh, oh, is it really? Are there? <laughs> let yep. me actually, let me actually yep. see if I can find it. I, I accidentally closed it, so I'm sure somebody in the chat room is going to. Uh, I'm. I owe, <laughs> I, owe, I owe Cheeto a compliment. He said, "I thought their or I bought their song. They are awesome. <laughs> I love their frog pants. Thanks, man." <laughs> Uh, let's take a let's take a look at what we got here, real quick. Doobie Brothers have aged gracefully and rocked the house at Music Fest. Let's find out what the folks of Lily High Valley think. It turns out, let's see. Beyond the sponsor, <laughs> links, we got 18 comments so far. Doobie Blood, Gr Joseph, great article. Right until you started dissing Michael McDonald. Regrettable years. <laughs> Wait, I don't think this is. Oh no! By the way, no, this is before. <laughs> That's before. That's before. Yeah. A cat. Once they broke up, I didn't like them much until this review. I thought, now, now I bought Blackwater. <laughs> you know, until I read this review, I hated these guys. Then this review inspired me to buy Blackwater. Good stuff. <laughs> Thanks, man. I was a fan <laughs> until they broke up and they went their separate ways until this guy's article. So I bought Blackwater. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I bought this song. They're awesome. I love their frog pants. <laughs> I was never a huge Doobie Brothers fan, but this article really made me think about it. I went out and bought Blackwater from iTunes and loved it. Thanks, Joe. And and on and on and on they go. Now listen, some might think that we are are you know doing something as crude as as launching a raid or something. That is not the case. What we are simply doing is brightening up one man's day. And so for this this fine day in the middle of September, Joseph P. Owens, a thin ray of sunshine shines upon you, my friend, courtesy of the NSFW show. Wink. <laughs> All right. Yes. Are, are we up to three pages already? Are you kidding me? Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love the chat room. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, and by the way, uh, don't do the one. I've already seen a few that were, uh, that were saying um, – <laughs> I was like, hey, I didn't really like the Doobie Brothers until I read this review. And then I bought, and then they write out track name. <laughs> that is cheating. Yeah, cheating, no, cheating. No self-referentialism. you got to be earnest and legit and make this guy's day, dude. Yeah, that, and, and, that's what we're about here. All right. By the way, also, uh, if you want to get the links to this, talk about, make sure you go to the BBpedia, and the entry there will be able to uh, send you to all these places that we're going to talk about, including Joseph P. Owens' Doobie Brothers review. Which, by the oh, way, the BBC media is just getting even better, moment by moment. All right, so let's move yeah, on. What, what else do we got? Now, here's the thing. I understand, Justin, that we have been getting some, I don't want to say complaints, but they're pretty much complaints about how we roll things over here. And I, I don't know about you, but me personally, I want to correct things. I want to make things right. I want to show that we've got what it takes to make them happy. What do you suggest, sir? Uh, you know, Brian, I'm not going to sugarcoat things. We're, we're, we're trying to, to branch out to a larger audience, make sure that uh, Twit, you know, really thinks that we are an investment 
worth pursuing. So we've gotten two complaints regularly, and we want to address them both. The first one. Hey, where are the white women at? <laughs> I don't know what we can do about it, but yeah. we'll work. So the first one, of course, being the complaints about the fact that we use a soundboard, right? That's yes, that's the complaint. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Not what's on it is the fact that we have a soundboard. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you Se want to use segment. our soundboard, you can head on over to nsfwsoundboard.tk, where all of our favorite bits are there for you to use on your friends. And there's a Brody app, so take that. <laughs> Absolutely. The rare double plug. Wow. Uh, secondly, and this is probably the biggest thing, uh, people say that we scream a lot, Brian, that, that, that we're too loud. We're, we're jarring. I'm, I'm sorry, you say we scream? Yeah, Brian, uh, they, they, they tend to think that we're not, you know, we don't have a reasonable volume. We don't have a studio voice, I think, I, is something that's been said to us. I mean, look, I get that we project energy, but it's only because we're enthusiastic about what we're doing and we want to kind of get people pumped up, right? But at the same time, Brian, I think it's time that we really showed that we had range and we maybe took it down to another level and showed that we could have the same intensity oh, yeah, uh, as we do uh, we during our normal show. To a level yeah. below the level we're at now. So wherever we are now, we be less awesome than that level. Oh, no, no. See, that's the problem. Is that you might think that we'd have to sacrifice awesome. But we're going to try a little experiment right now where we are going to take, and this is an actual transcript from a NPR segment, okay? But uh, we, we've tried to make it our own. Re real quick, right? chat, chat room is saying keep the energy the same. But you know what? The more I hear you, the more I think you're 100% right. We got to bring things down. I think we need to show. And, 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 you know, listen, I think we have a chance to win the chat room over. We have a, we have a, we have a chance, can, can, Brian. Okay, go we ahead. have a chance to win the chat room over mm. with this bit that we like to call NPR Mad Libs. <laughs> no, you had me until you said Mad Libs. What the... What the heck is NPR Mad Libs, Justin Robert Young? <laughs> and what on earth makes you think that we are capable of pulling off an NPR Mad Lib? So uh, me and uh, OMG Chad uh, got to thinking. To, uh, me and OMG, me, uh, uh, I don't. Sorry. I don't think he can do it. I don't. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, listen, I, don't I don't think I can do it. This is already ended for disaster. No, Go ahead. Justin. No, I can. I can do it. <laughs> Me and OMG Chad got to thinking, see? We got to thinking, what if we took an NPR piece, maybe about a museum exhibit about Hurricane Katrina, and then took out some of the words and then put in other sillier words so it was the kind of stuff that we'd talk about, but it was in NPR voices. <laughs> so you're saying, you're saying we have to read an actual NPR script, <clears throat> but... Read it in NPR. <clears throat> so what you're saying, Justin, <clears throat> is that we here at NSFW need to read an NPR script in our NPR voices, but the lyrics may be changed to be more hilarious. Is that correct, sir? Yes, Brian, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> So 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 here we go. Um, this is our this is our NPR Mad Libs, and uh, I'm going to play mm. playing the host of the narrator, okay, or sorry, right. the host of the show. All right. So you'll be the host, and I'll be the guest. And and I've seen I I saw that the script arrived. I've not really looked at it. Uh, and and I guess Scott has a role as well, right? Uh, oh, indeed. Yes, I do. And, yeah. and, to, and to make this clear, this is a legitimate NPR script that actually was aired that had a host and two guests. And we're going to introduce you guys to what we like to call NPR SFW. Hi everybody, and welcome to NPR SFW. I'm your host, Justin Robert Young Dash Anzalo. Most of us experienced pony rides through the news media. Images of people frantically waving down the cast of Cirque du Soleil show Love, the sound of wind, rain, and water, the descriptions of tax breaks. 
The exhibit opens at the museum here at Washington, D.C. tomorrow. Brian Brushwood, the museum's mu director of exhibits, joins us here in Studio 3A. Nice to have you with us today. Up yours, Justin. Part of the exhibit is a wall of front pages from newspapers across the world, and collectively, that's an extraordinary presentation of headlines and photographs that conveys a sunny sense of tax breaks. And I don't think I saw it before or after. <clears throat> well, that was part of our objective. You know, this really is an awkwardly erotic uh, <laughs> look at how the story of Pony Ride and its aftermath was covered through the eyes of a frat boy's discarded plastic cups who were there. And it's still, you know, such a raw memory for Americans. It's such a major hamster dance <laughs> that we looked back and we tried to tell the story through the objects, the unforgettable front sexy legs through those jaw-dropping cakes that you see throughout the cake exhibit that really make you just sort of stop in your tracks and remember what you experienced. Sure. Some of the artifacts include doors with the, I guess, indelible images of those, uh, of the pipe fitters that had been through the houses to say what the day was and if they found any Skittles. And there's some very powerful signs on loan from us from the Louisiana State Museum in which a drugstore owner very forcibly communicates to folks, I have a big dog, an ugly woman, and a claw hammer, and you don't dare come inside. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, director's cut here. All right, uh, I just want to point out that that last part was not edited at all. <laughs> yeah, that, that last actually... part, not a mad lib. An ugly <laughs> wife, an ugly, a, a big dog, an ugly woman, and a claw hammer. 100% that's in the script. That's the one thing that you guys probably thought was altered, but was not. All right, can we get back to this? And we're back. All right. <clears throat> you mentioned I'm, that there are artifacts I'm, 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 I'm sorry, you said you were back, right? Yeah. And we're back. Go. <laughs> NPRSFW brought to you by a grant from Dr. Ira Schlagenberg. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned that there are artifacts provided by some of the reporters and photographers who participated in this New Year's Eve party. Joining us now is Ted Jackson, a photographer. He joins us on the line from New Orleans. Ted slash Scott, nice to have you with us today. <laughs> F a dog! <laughs> There's some extraordinary f photographs. One of them is a family caught in rushing water, and, and the, a, a cat seemingly tried to reach out across a moth, a, a mouse, to get Indian curry. Yeah, that's the first thing I actually saw. Well, uh, the cat was asking for your help. Oh, it was. I, it was, man. I made a picture and then left. And I understand that some months later, you contacted this cat. Right. It was uh, Thanksgiving, and we were doing a Thanksgiving story about a pe uh, people who were furious and giving them an opportunity to break dance. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Uh, sorry. And, that, and this was the image I wanted to find out about. I wanted, to, I wanted to know if this cat survived. And one thing I, the two questions I remember that I asked on the phone, it said, well, I, I could what? It just couldn't understand why, why why you left us. And I explained that I came back a half hour later with a boat and rope. And then her second question was, can I get a copy of the photograph for breakdance? And I think and I think that was at least helped me to realize or helped me to realize both of us really that these pictures are very, very important to shoot but very, very difficult to shoot at the same time. <laughs> Scott, thank you very much for your time today. Appreciate it, and good luck with your exhibit, Brian. <laughs> F a dog! <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Covering Pony Ride will be on display at Museum DC in Washington, DC, starting tomorrow through September of next year, and <laughs> Brian has a mouth full of farts. <laughs> that was so much more difficult. That was so much more difficult than I thought it would be. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. NPRSFW is again brought to you by a grant 
from Mr. and Mrs. Blurglestein, old Blurglestein. <laughs> Her I'm sorry, you <laughs> You notice uh, like I've never used the soft transition until this episode where I wanted to slowly <laughs> transfer from one of us to the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, uh listen, I think uh let me tell you, Justin. I think we uh, we showed our range, right? I think we show what we're capable of. And more importantly, not capable of. But the important <laughs> thing is I think we've shown what we're about. And before we really strut our stuff, because I don't think you and I belong on the small stage. The small stage, of course, being America. No. And, and, and by the way, listen, if this show is about anything, it's about range. Okay? Go we're on. not about trolling. We're about complimenting. We're not about yelling. We're about the NPR SFW, okay? Sure. And if there's one thing that we can do and do well, it is play outside the feeble walls of this great nation. Yes, folks. Did we I are going to take this to the world. Okay, but before we do... If a dog! <laughs> 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 By the way, everyone on Twitter, make sure to quote Extra Life as saying, quote, F a dog. 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 <laughs> uh, before we do, we should take a moment to, to acknowledge the people who make NSFW possible. I don't God. know about you, but Justin, but I got some valuable stuff on them there's hard drives. What about you? You got anything you care about? I got a lot of precious family stuff on, on my hard drive, including my grandpa, who was a bootlegger and a pirate, and left a trail of blood and corpses as he hid his treasure. And where did he hide it? Well, on his hard drive, Brian. And you can't just leave that to chance or the feds. You got to back it up off-site. And that's why my grandpa, who had at least three warrants and 12 unsolved murders behind him, uses Carbonite.com. Did you say your grandpa was a pirate? <laughs> you know, Brian, it's a loose term, but one that shouldn't be trifled with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why the choice of well-worn pirates is Carbonite.com. See, here's the beautiful thing about Carbonite. You just put all the stuff there on your computer, you sign up to Carbonite.com, and that stuff backs up. So if all of a sudden somebody lights your house on fire because mm. you murdered their brother? <laughs> no, it's not going to touch that. Your secret treasure map, not that there is one, is going to be in the cloud, baby. I, I, I think, Scott, by the way, I don't know if you're familiar with Carbonite.com. Carbonite.com is the leader. It's number one in off-site backup. The problem is everyone thinks they're going to get around to backing up their files and they all say, oh, you know, your hard drives are getting so cheap, I'll just buy one and I'll get around to copy it. Guess what? You won't because you're lazy and you're selfish and you don't love anyone except for yourself. And you sit there playing your StarCrafts and reading your PC magazines and nobody loves you. And the reason is, is because you are not responsible enough to back up your own most important treasures. We're talking about that day that your daughter was born. We're talking about that day that you set foot in the sunlight outside We're talking of about house. the day you buried that $100,000 in blood money in Peoria, Illinois. <laughs> uh, Sure. I agree. Carbonite is awesome. <laughs> and by the way, Brian, let's say that you're out on a family trip or a business meeting or on the run from the cops and you need to access your data on a BlackBerry or iPhone. Carbonite has a brand new app that makes sure you get -uh. all your important info. Nuh uh. Listen. Let me tell you, I'm already predisposed to love Carbonite. These are the guys who are protecting my memories. And I don't know if you, I, I Twittered on my account. If you go to twitter.com slash schwood, that's S-H-W-O-O-D. You can see that I tweeted out last week, I can't wait 
until I'm old and Alzheimer's so the internet can tell me the story of my life. Do you know how that's going to be possible? The only way it's going to be possible is if it's backed up in the cloud and you can make that happen by going to Carbonite.com. It's easy. You just start it. It backs up automatically night after night. Everything's backed up. You can access it from any computer. It's absolutely amazing. And the best part is, Justin, do you know what the best part is? Uh, well, you can get, uh, you can make sure you go to carbonite.com slash what, what's the best part? <laughs> oh, yeah. The best part is that you'll be helping out little old Bri Bri and gerbs by going to carbonite.com, sign up. And let me tell you, it would be enough. Like our fan base, they're freaking hardcore. We say sign up, use promo code NSFW and you'll be charged double, but it'll help us. You know what they would do, Justin? What would they do? They would sign up because that's how hardcore they are, right? But the absolutely, point is, absolutely. is, we've worked out a deal where that's not a problem. We're going to say sign up, use promo code NSFW, and you know what happens to your rate? Uh, I don't, but you do. <laughs> you <laughs> will get a discount, and you'll be keeping NSFW in business, dude. That's how freaking dope freaking Carbonite is, man. It's the real stuff. Scott, what do you think about Carbonite? Carbonite is awesome. I have all my stuff backed up in there, and I, I've never had to worry about it. I sleep better at night. I don't think about it because I know that even if my other secondary backup here dies or my whole thing goes up in flames, the house explodes, we're all killed. I know at least my data is safe in the cloud. So, like, would you say, like, you relax Absolutely. more as a result of, of Carbonite being out there yeah. for you? Would you say your yeah, yeah. posture is better? I, wait, what is your posture? Your posture? Do you stand? No, up my posture is terrible. It's bad all the time. Carbonite does nothing for that. So what but you're it saying helps is that sleep. carbonite will give you better posture. Is what you're saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to agree right. with that and sign up for your good deal. I think it's clear, and, dude. And there, there's the deal, folks. Take it from my grandfather, Oliver Robert Young. <laughs> he trusts his life to Carbonite.com. You hear that, Feds? His life. <laughs> Do you say his life like to the Feds? No. What? You wearing a wire? <laughs> yeah, you know, because if you are wearing a wire, you got to tell us, right? But you got to tell me, right? Yeah, you got to no, tell totally, me. Totally, totally. Uh, Carbonite.com slash NSFW. Go there. Back your stuff up to the cloud. By the way, uh, I have received died. email after email, tweet after tweet. Uh, all of our sponsors are genuinely amazed at the response they get from the NSFW crowd. So let's keep that going, guys. If you haven't signed up for Carbonite, get on out there. Head on over to Carbonite.com. Use promo code NSFW and show yeah, them I that we got the stuff here at NSFW. In fact, we have so much stuff. It can't be contained in one little old country of no. the U.S. of America A. Where are we no. going to take it, Justin? <laughs> no, we're taking it to the jet stream. We're taking it to the air. And we're landing in various countries. And by the way, we can't just roll out naked NSFW style. No, 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 I no. I think no. we can. We, gotta, we have to so. squad <laughs> ourselves. I can. I can. I can. All right, Brian. No, 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 I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go it's ahead. It's just you a throwaway saying, line. You I'm don't sorry. have to accentuate I'm, that's everything. the problem is I wait, was listening wait, to you. Wait for, wait for the exclamation point. I shouldn't have listened to you. Nipple go slip. Ahead. Nipple slip. I saw it. I exactly. captured it. Brian, we're going to go maybe a little incognito. And so we're going to be calling around to all of our fans across the world and giving them a local show, a show that they deserve. But it's not going to be us. No, Brian. It's going to be... Uh, a little <laughs> and it won't be brought to you by yahoo messenger that randomly popped up in the spot normally reserved for the chat room but for some random reason we had to put your face go ahead you were saying <laughs> we're gonna go by the nickname the cat the cat what, no, no, i don't understand we, we're just gonna what, what are we ashamed of ourselves we can't say hi it's brian and justin from nsfw we'd like to do a show for you that's not how we're gonna roll no, because then they're fans of ours, Brian. They might like us anyway. But if we roll in there, kind of incognito style, and we rock their faces off, that's double points. Okay, so what you're saying is we need to be like a chameleon, a ninja chameleon pirate devil who has the ability to, like, take on different faces and assassinate you with its comedy when you least expect it. That's what you're saying. If a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you should see my Twitter feed, by the way. <laughs>
Everyone says to F a dog. Okay, well, good. I'm glad. If nothing else, we were able to bring that to you, Scott. All right. So what you're saying is we should call up people. No, I, I like this, though, because, Justin, seriously, this is like, this is the kind of thing you and I, because I don't know if you think, I don't know if you thought about this, Justin. Here, it's always late night. We thought about calling the show Night Attack for a while because it's after yes. 10 o'clock, it's in the but night. But that sounds like a sexual assault, Brian, so right. we don't call it that. That's, that's it, but, but the point is, we, we're, you know, we're punk rock about it. But the, yeah. point is, the point is, is that's not necessarily how our international fans, people don't think about that. People literally, no lie, all around the world watch NSFW, right? Absolutely. And, and a bunch of them watch it live. So what we're going to do is we're going to call them and we are going to give them a time appropriate version of the show. We're going to perform the show live for them. Who, and local. There. What's we're going to talk about local events. Oh yeah, no, it's totally customized. Like, like, like we yeah. would. I mean, what do they care about? Like, you know, what's going on in Austin, Texas, or in Florida, or or in where the hell are you, Scott? S Salt Lake City, Utah, Salt baby. Lake represent or Salt Lake freaking City, Utah, where they hold up magazines over their face and think it's hilarious, <laughs> and they keep doing it all goddamn show long. <laughs> the point is, like, we're gonna expand into other regions where people hold up signs of their own artwork and they impress us with their skills. The podcast. Sorry, go. Is, is uh, that's the is, uh, by, oh, by, by, we should take a moment to thank you. Uh, what, what, what your new podcast is, Creep? It's called the Creep. It's that's that's the artwork we created, the album art. You can actually order this if you're interested. I'm not trying to shill it. I'm just showing it. But no, no, that's no. yeah, that's we're the all about art. selling we sell here on NSFW. Uh, but uh, all but, right, but, so but, here we go. Okay. Who are uh, <laughs> wow, that was smooth. So we are so we are we are running way late. All right, way go late. Ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, Brian, we're gonna we're gonna start in uh, Arica, Chile. Well, oh, sorry, this is the, maybe a, a, an appetizer because it's only 10:30 there. It's 11:30 here, so we're just we're just kind of time shifting. All right. We're going to work up to the big time show. No, that's good. That's good. So right now we have viewers in Chile. It's 1030. We're going to give them a call. What would be an appropriate program that we should play at 10, 1130, 1030 at night? I'm thinking maybe maybe it's uh, maybe some smooth jazz, maybe something like a little relax or we're rocking. No, no, we're rocking. We're the cat. We're rocking tonight. I, I'm, I'm going to say that we got we to gotta be like, um, you know, kind of like, uh, I don't know, like eh, – Full on night attack. We're talking. We're talking full on like um, coast to coast AM style. It's pretty late right now, is what I say. Yeah. All right. Let's roll with that. All right. Here we're gonna give him a call. I'm gonna hit enter, and with any luck, we'll actually get this guy on the air. I have no idea if I'm calling him or not. Here we go. Call. Here we go. If I don't answer, it's forwarding to my cell phone, is what this caller says. And I have all the. Hello? Caller, are you there? I'm here. Oh, wait, that was the totally wrong music. Hold on, stop that. Let me get the cat. The cat. 105.9. The cat. All right, so, so you're in you're in Chile. I didn't expect them the, to call and uh, to be available on Skype and to randomly answer with video. So it's like this is a little oh. bit awkward because we're gonna have to look her in the eye as we perform for for her. But this is one of our very <laughs> rare female fans, by the way. And and by the way, I know you're making a face right now, Justin, but that's because you're not having to look at an actual female fan in the face. Take that right there. All right, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> you want to start this up? All right, so we just called Chili, which means I got to play my Chili music. And so, let's go. Justin? Ah, welcome back! Cougar Brian, how you doing? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I was totally <laughs> I was totally unprepared for the video element. <laughs> like the idea of doing this bit and having somebody look us back in the eyes never once crossed our mind. Hang up. Hang up, All Brian. Right. So we, gotta, we gotta abort. <laughs> Bye, abort. Chili. Abort! Alright, get out of here. Alright, there you go. Alright, here's the thing. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Blow me! Here's the thing, here's the thing, people. We can't perform. We can't perform. Bye bye. 
He's a jackass. Here's the thing, people. We can't perform for you while you're looking at us. We get performance anxiety, and we get all messed up. No, there, I'm right? sorry, Bri. I I'm going to put that one on you. You had to power through, and you didn't. You froze up, and, and, and we blew up on the launch pad. The cat is is injured. It's got a broken little kitty paw, and now we're bimbling down the street through the world's avenues, and how are we going to rock if we can't rock somebody an hour before Eastern Standard Time? That's what I'm asking. All right, listen. I'm going to say... You need a man up! All I'm going to say is that of all the countries for us to have screwed up upon, maybe Chile wasn't the worst one. All right? Let's just say that. Let's, let's just put that out there, all right? So the Wait, good news what are you, is... what are you saying about Chile? What makes... <laughs> I love Chile. Chile's awesome. I love Chile. I love the five alarm, the four alarm, even the three alarm. But the point is... I'm with you. With you. I, the point is, at least we didn't mess up with a major superpower, a nuclear power, that could have totally exploded on us, all right? So all let's right. do this right. Hello. Espen. Hey, what's going yeah. on? Yeah. <laughs> Not much, dude. It. It's uh, five thirty. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? Hey, it's Kooky the Racist Badger. You're live on the air. It's time for Midnight Norway. What do you say, Racist Badger? Oh, I'll tell you what, Kook. I, you, you heard about this uh, this speed skating? This national coach for sexual harassment? Yeah, have you heard about that? It's a fairly huge story right here on our local network of Norway. No. Oh, no, sorry. What was it? You're just listening. You can't talk to the radio, sir. You know, the coach of the Norwegian <laughs> speed skating team, K, uh, Peter Mueller, five or sexual harassment. What do you think about that? Is she even fiddling with the kitties? <laughs> Let me tell you, dude, if there's any place to fiddle, it's got to be up in Norway. It's so dark half the time, right? You know, uh, Mueller, a Madison, Wisconsin native. Let's take our first caller, Mr. Johnson. Welcome. You're Scott on Hi Johnson. Johnson. You're on the air, live in midnight Norwegian land. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, this is, uh, are they the same country that makes Nokia phones? Because I effing hate those phones. Effing no! <laughs> I'll tell you what, he makes a great point. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to go right into our next song. Remember, 15 minute rock blocks, traffic and weather on the fives. It's the cat. 105.9. The cat. And we're out. All right, terrible. we barely made that one out. That was barely. Terrible. That was terrible. That was our worst bit we've ever done. We called somebody, and we the guy didn't and even know the local story that we were talking about. We, he doesn't need to. See, here's the problem, Brian. You're you're picking up the phone and you're like talking to me, like, oh hey, Espen, what's going on? <laughs> okay. All no, right, we're right. door to door rocking. Okay. All right, all right. I'll get this right. I'll get this right. Jesus. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Next one will be Andrew. <laughs> We're never doing show prep again. Never. We're never spending any time going over these bits before. This, this is what happens. See, this, this is, is what happens. happens. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, let's do this. Here we go. We're calling him right now. Daniel in New Zealand. Hello. 105.9. The cat. And that's right, you're live on the air right now with Kook and the Racist Badger. I'm your host, Kook, joined as always by the Racist Badger. What's going What's on? What's up, Kay? How you doing, bro? Hey, listen, you heard about this, uh, the, the, the quake in Christchurch, man. What the hell's going on over there? Yeah, dude, listen, i tell you who we got on the line. We got ourselves an expert. This guy has been covering quakes all over the U.S. of A. and places that aren't even in America. We're joined by Scott Johnson, the quake expert. What's going on, Scotty? Well, let me tell you a whole problem with quake. Whole thing <laughs> happened down south of the border, so everyone in quake zone need to get out. Get out of town. Wow, like man, that sounds up. like some really hectic stuff. Of course, New Zealand authorities on Wednesdays extended a state of emergency in the quake damaged Christchurch region by 24 hours. But you're saying get out now? I say get out now. Get under a big, strong bridge. You need to get out now. There's no hope. Whole problem going to come back to haunt everybody. Get out of town now. I'll tell you what's going to come back to haunt everybody. The rock that we deliver here on 105.9 The Cat. 15-minute rock blocks. News and weather on the 5. This is Twisted Sister. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Hold on, let me do it. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta leave it right. The cat. So long, caller. I don't see what the problem is, Justin. I think we just did both of our careers a very big favor. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. F Boom! F F F dog. F All right. <laughs> well, that about brings us to the end of another fabulous episode of NSF Dumping. <laughs> Listen, the good news is, Tony, you'll only have to heavily edit, like, the last half of the episode. The first half was really pretty much straight on right for the public. It's only the second half where things got a little bit... Interesting. But oh, the, by the way, apologies to Quiet Riot because I called them Twisted Sister. But hey, it's New Zealand. Who cares? <laughs> They've never heard of either of them. Look, no. How can people get a hold of you, Scott Johnson? Oh, my gosh. They can find me in lots of ways. You want to complain about my Chinese accent? Uh, there's a great <laughs> way to find me at frogpants.com. They can follow me on uh, Twitter. I'm at twitter.com slash extra life. Uh, you can also go to effadog.com. Brand new site. Just got it started. <laughs> Great things. Ever know? Ever know? You guys, I had a ball tonight. This is a blast. Oh Thanks God. again. I can't. Dude, I Scott, can't wait to do it again. It's 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 insane. It's like there are certain people who are clearly born to be on NSFW, and you are among that very rare breed. And thank you so much for having uh, for, for coming on over here. Justin is cackling at the chat room. Why are you? No, oh, no, 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 sir. I'm not cackling. I'm cackling at the 138 comments. That are already on Sweet Joseph P. Owens' blog post. Yes! Uh, all, I'm sure, very, very, very positive. Continue to send this man rays of sunshine to show that we deliver the, the goods. It's not the lulls. We're not here for the lulls. We're here for the smiles. Justin R. Young on Twitter. Visit me at weirdthings.com and sign up for Weird Things TV on YouTube. I love you all. Scott, of course, is over at, at, at Extra Life, right? At Extra yep. Life on the Twitter. And, of course, myextralife.com. Is that correct? Yep, yep. Awesome. And Snorb. And check out Snorb. Awesome. Dude, oh, yeah, Snorbs are good. By the way, you guys can follow me at Schwood. That's at S-H-W-O-O-D. I'm going to be telling you guys lots of sneaky secret behind-the-scenes info when it comes to this Halloween Horror Nights right here in Universal Orlando. Until then, we'll see you next Tuesday. Die in a fire. Have a dog. Tony? Tony? Don't you put any of this in there.